David Charles Kwashi was. It's my father. I don't want to use was because he's still my father, even though he's no, he's no longer here with me. He was a kind and loving man. He was loved by many actually, and then he had this heart that condoned a lot of people. He entertained a lot of people. He made people laugh. He's a very good man, very generous, and I can see he's a talented coach. I can also call him, I mean, let's say my role model. Mr. Kwashi was a friend and he became uh, my golf coach. Actually met him, I was already playing golf and then we got to, to talking. I, I got to find out that he was the one who um, designed this golf course. He always wanted his house to be, his, the home to be a calm place. He's always been there for my siblings and I and my, my mom as well. Kwashi, as we affectionately called him, was one of the pioneer coaches on this golf course. And he wasn't just a coach. He helped us to love the game of golf. And he was part of the development of this golf course. I came to Bork in 2012 when I was looking for uh, employment. When I got here, he was the one, he was the first person I met. I met uh, him at Achimota Golf Course when I was working at the clubhouse there. My father was the leader in my life, you know, a great teacher. He meant everything to me because he basically taught me everything. How to wear my socks, how to lace my shoes, you know, <laughs> how to ride a bicycle, how to drive a car for the first time, a manual car. Yeah, the impact he had on, on, on my life was especially the seriousness of him to learn a trade and go to school and, and become a professional golfer. That's also prompted me uh, to be a good golfer as well. The approach to teaching golf is the same as life. Golf is a game that reflects life. You could have a good shot and a bad bounce. You could have a bad shot and a good bounce. It just reflects life, teaches you honesty, teaches you to be a gentleman, teaches you to treat other people well. That was his philosophy to golf. He touched so many lives. He spoke the golf language technically. He's one of the coaches, the few coaches in Ghana, so probably the only one who actually used proper language that made you understand what you were doing wrong or what you were doing right. You know, his impact on the golfing community cuts across from golfers to caddies and even to other coaches. He was uh, one of the finest in the game. Uh, he won a, a couple of, couple of uh, things, monthly medals and then uh, 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 international acclaim medals like the Ghana Open, Accra Open and, and Lagos Open, Rangzeros, Nigeria in the Nigeria Open as well. It's, it's no surprise that his name will also be counted among the golfing greats from Ghana. I always remember him uh, by his nicknames. One of them that I love is Bobo. Sometimes when I call him, he say, Yemalo. Sometimes when I call him, he say, Bo. And then when he makes it two two, then he's coming to knock your shoulder like this two two. It means he's cooling you down. He, he's been through so many adversaries, but he faced them. He believed problems are a part of life, and they always come. And no matter what, you take it one at a time. You go through them. What I've missed most is his presence. When he's always home, he's always quiet. But even though he's quiet, you know he's there. One thing he taught me as well is to be a man. And a man doesn't cry. A man just faces the problems and deals with them head on. So that's what I'm doing right now. Even though I'm not showing emotions, I know what I'm going through. Well, I would like to say I, I wish I shared more moments with him on the golf course. At home, we had our moments. I was very close to him. I mean, my dad is no longer with us physically, but Spiritually, he's still here. I really love 
I really loved my dad so much. And then this was a heartbreaking news to all of us. To the extended family, just like how he told them stories when they were all growing up on his journeys and some of the things he experienced. What I have for the extended family is with what he has told everyone, they shouldn't be forgotten. Because if he forgets his memories, he forgets the person. And it's like he, he never existed. So to everyone watching and listening right now, memories are what hold us, memories are what define us. So let his memory live on.